Hello and welcome back to Unboxing Views. Today we're looking at the Logitech Z3 here. And we're going to review it because we did the unboxing and set up last time. So that's time to get the review game on. Let's start off with packaging. The speaker system comes in a nice cardboard box with a lovely picture of the unit and it tells you all about the specifications and details of the speaker system. On screen are some of the specifications. As you can see it has quite a high power and it sounds cool ding dong. Speakers for the unit come in plastic with cardboard. There you go. So you need to know about the packaging if you want to watch the unboxing. Link will be in the description below. After opening the box, you get the speakers out, plug them in, and there you go. It's basically all you do is plug the plug into the socket. It's not that difficult. Anyone can do it. So there you go. Well done Logitech for that. On the back of the subwoofer, there's a bass control, a RCA input connector, and also there's a aux connector that comes out the back and also connects to the spinny dial. The bass bit, bass knob, whatever you want to call it, very useful because it means that if you like getting late at night turned down. Here's the little knob that you put in your desk, on off switch on the left, on the right there's a headphone output and the main knob controls the volume. One downside to using headphones on this is the knob does not control the volume of the headphones. So say you've got your music or whatever on full volume, you're like let's put my headphones on, bang it in, it's too loud, it's a disaster. Also, there's a green power LED on the front of the knob. Well, technically it's not on the knob that bit, but um, yeah. Once you plug in all the different plugs and connectors, and get it fired up for the first time, I'd recommend firstly adjusting the bass for your liking. Play a song, be like, ooh, too bassy, not enough bass. Fiddle with the knob. Also, I feel that you'll be really proud once you've set it up. You should be. Well done. And I think you'll be surprised at the quality that you can get, for like sound wise, for such a pretty good price. I can't remember how much it was. Link to Amazon in the description. Um, yeah. Overall, I'd say this is a great set of speakers to use with a computer or to listen to music with. However, you need to think about the headphone port and also where you're going to fit the cables because that could be a big deciding factor with your choice. When buying one of these systems, it might be worth looking to a portable Bluetooth adapter. It doesn't have to be portable, but it just means you can Bluetooth your phone or other device and just play music. Great choice. Also, that review is in the description. So, thanks for watching, guys. Like this video if you liked it. Also, comment down your thoughts. Comment down the thoughts of the, the speakers. That's good there. Um, subscribe for more from us. And also, go to g2a.com with the link below. They do really good deals on cheap games and then also if you use the link below we'll get a small kickback you could say and then we can make more videos for you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.